While joining us is an Olympian, Mary Onyali, one who has experience when it comes to the Commonwealth Games and major international championship. But administratively, we can't deny our contribution to the success story of Team Nigeria at the just concluded Commonwealth Games. Mary Onyali, it's nice to have you on the program sports desk. Thank you. Nice being here again. Well, um, let's take a look at them. The results um, I've, made, I've made available, and um, it's clear that it was a dominant championship for the Nigerian woman. 12 gold medals from Team Nigeria women at the just concluded games. And this brings me to the question why do you think the men struggled at the just concluded Commonwealth Games? I wouldn't use the word struggled. Um, it's, I think I will attribute most of it to the fact that our athletes to this game, the male and female as well, they are all student athletes. About 80 to 85 percent of them are student athletes, meaning that uh, these, these athletes compete in their various schools on a weekly basis. They've been competing consecutively since January to date and been traveling far and wide. So it's, it's, um, it's expected that they will be burnt out and tired. The reason for, for them being student athletes is to, to also complete their, their contractual agreement with their schools and at the same time be able to uh, answer the call for their nation, which uh, the Commonwealth Games uh, has uh, brought to their to their doorstep. Um, it's a it's a pity they were not able to rise up to the occasion, uh, but I'm sure by the time they get strong and uh, get better in their school uh, activities, they will be able to bring it uh, to the national level because majority of them are also, like I said, student athletes and first year student athletes. So they need to get stronger. They they will be back. With the performance of Team Nigerian women at the Just Concluded Games, um, what do you have to say, you know, to the Nigerian and African parents when it comes to the girl child in sports? Um, with this result, um, the likes of Toby Amuso growing up had challenges um, with sports. She started with football and the likes. She didn't get the best of support. But with what we've seen so far, a dominant performance in style by the average, you know, um, Team Nigeria. Uh, what will you say to the parents um, in terms of um, encouraging their girls to take into sports? What happened to Toby growing up and uh, getting into uh, active sports was exactly a playbook from my own active uh, uh, athlete, uh, sports career. It was the same thing that I went through. My mom, being a single parent, couldn't, uh, uh, didn't understand the fact that I, I can use sports to better my, my, uh, the, the household, my career, and also get an education uh, uh, alongside it. But with time, I was able to convince her that this is the best way to go, and she, she went with me. But look at it now. She is the most happy uh, uh, mother in, in the world, and I bet you it's the same thing with uh, Toby's mom and dad. Uh, you know, every parent, especially Nigerian parents or African parents, they always want their children to focus more on education. But education and sports can also coexist. And we've, we've, we've uh, witnessed it over and over again. You know, I, I, was a, I was a prime example. Here comes Toby um, and a host of others. And uh, like I said, 85% of our athletes are all students. They're all going to school and also participating in sports. So parents out there, let your children be. Let them play whatever sport they're interested in. No, don't push them to a particular sport because it may not be their, their, where their talent lies. Let them just choose whatever sport they, they are interested in. And while they're at it, allow them to have fun. And that will bring the best out of them. We need uh, more Tobies out there. I'm sure they're out there. 
Interesting. Well, if you've just tuned in, you're watching the program Sports Desk. We're taking a look at the aftermath of the just concluded Commonwealth Games, extraying the performance of Team Nigeria. The success story of the Nigerian woman um, was um, all we saw at the just concluded Games. And um, it's time to indeed celebrate them. Uh, we're talking to Mary Onyali or Mike Bemi, a former Nigerian athlete and Olympian and one who has seen the toll. If you're watching on TVC Entertainment and you want to continue with the Georgia session with us you can indeed join us on channel 418 on dstv you have the go tv platform there start signs is also there if you are outside the shores of nigeria you can join us on youtube live and enjoy the georgia session well let me come back to you Welcome back, and um, I'm still with Mary Onyali or Mark Bemi. And then um, right now, let's take a look at um, the sprint. Um, Toby Amuso, um, we will talk about a record, but let's um, take a look at um, some of the things we noticed. In the 100 meters final, uh, we expected that the Nigeria would be um, in the final of the men's 100 meters. But today, the fastest man in Africa is from Kenya. Kenyans are known to be dominant in the long distance events. But were you surprised with what we've seen of Ferdinand of Kenya or Mayala over the years and what it did at the Commonwealth Games? Absolutely not surprised that uh, Omayala has been showing prominence for the past two, three years. Actually, he broke through when uh, he was invited to the uh, one of our uh, one of the competitions held uh, at uh, Yabatek by MOC Making of Champions, and uh, he broke the, the the ten seconds barrier and never looked back. Uh, I, I believe our athletes know we have about four or five athletes that can run like uh, better than even better than Omayala. So I'm not worried about that. Like I said, we are going through. Uh, a grooming and development period right now since most of our athletes are student athletes and this year especially this year is packed with major championships and games uh, due to covid covid brought all the competitions we would have had last year and the year before forward so the, the season was too choked for our athletes to cope i'm sure uh, the same goes with other other nations but for the professional athletes like omayala they were able to plan their program and compete uh, 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 as uh, when needed. But our athletes must compete on a, on a weekly basis because of their contractual agreement uh, with their schools. So I will appeal to the, to, the nations, to, to, to the nation to give our athletes a chance. You know, just be patient with them. By the time they get uh, more matured in their various uh, uh, schools over the years, and especially when they finish uh, uh, with their contractor uh, four years agreement with their schools, you will see Nigeria bounce back with the crop of athletes we have now, four or five of them running uh, 10, 10 or better. We'll have a very strong squad. You, uh, we, we shouldn't worry about uh, Omayala right now. She's a, he's a one man in a, in a lonely forest right now for Kenya. That's interesting. Let them um, see what will happen in the next couple of weeks, months, and indeed the years. Well, some of them, um, the talking point with um, Nigeria's performance um, in relation to the sports ministry, the Honorable Minister for Youth and Sports, um, Mr. Sunday Dari, has been with has been the talk of adopting athletes. Um, some say this has been very crucial to the success story of um, the likes of um, Tobia Musso um, or Duanyu Adekunroye and the likes. Um, do you have fears um, if this will be sustained um, beyond this administration? That is one. Two, um, for those who are not performing at that peak, um, is the sports ministry looking into avenues to see how support can come? you know, for other athletes and uh, more, um, getting more medals at international events. You are absolutely correct. The Honorable Minister has really, really gone above and beyond his calling by <laughs> giving these athletes a second chance with the Adopt an Athlete uh, 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 initiative. As soon as he came into the office or 
when I joined him practically, what he said was, and I will remember clearly, Mary, we have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. We sat down, we strategized, we planned. It took time for us to get to where we are right now with the Adopt an Athlete Project. Days, months, hours, sleepless nights, hitting different corporate organizations. He used his personal contact, his personal friends, and, 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 and uh, acquaintances in government to push for these athletes to get adopted. They were adopted between 20,000 and 10,000 US dollars. The foreign-based athletes were 20,000. The home-based athletes were going for $10,000. That's a lot of money. We couldn't get to all of them, obviously, because there were about 85 of them on the list from different sports. But those that were uh, adopted, you can see the result right now. You mentioned them, the likes of Toby and uh, AC and so on. And they, I have to give kudos right now, as far as this initiative is concerned, to all, also to, to, the, to, the, to the Mr. President. Mr. President was behind the minister all the way on this uh, initiative. So also the state governors, uh, the Ogun state governor adopted uh, Toby, Delta state, government, governor adopted about, I think between 10 and eight of them, if, if I'm not mistaken. So if, if, if only all the states will step up, will step in and adopt one or two athletes each, whether foreign or home, we mix it up. Both the, the professionals and the, and the upcoming ones, we mix it up. These athletes will have a better chance between now and 2024 Paris uh, Olympics we will see some big surprises. And we need to do this as soon as possible. Reason being, these athletes that we've just started grooming, uh, that are taking uh, the, into, that are stepping into the shoes of uh, the Blessings and Co., they are going to have tired legs soon. They're going to wear out. Hmm. So we need to have more athletes coming from the youth and the junior category to take over from them. So we don't have that void that usually cause us to have to 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 have a, a vacuum of uh, ten to fifteen years before we can get another uh, a champion. Like you said, Kenyans are catching up with us. We need more people to come into uh, private sectors to step into the adopt program and adopt as many as possible. We don't have to do a uh, ten twenty uh, like we did before for for the uh, upcoming ones. We can drop it down to maybe five or. or you know, uh, 500,000, 1 million, something like that. Anything at all is better well, so that these athletes can be encouraged to train. But let, let me just interject my last, and this will be my last question. I don't know if Omar has any question, but um, you made mention of the fact that the minister used his personal contacts and all that to ensure that all these um, become a success. Can this be sustained? Of course. See, the ADOPT, let, let's, let me explain the ADOPT pro, uh, initiative. The ADOPT an athlete initiative is done this way. You adopt an athlete is basically the same thing you do when you adopt a child. If you adopt a child, you adopt that child holistically. Okay. That child becomes yours. His school fees, his shoes, his clothes, his feeding, everything, his welfare, you mm -hmm. are responsible for, for it. So that's the same principle we applied or the Honorable Minister applied to adopt an athlete. What about Once these athletes are adopting? They take the, the company or the person or the individual that adopted them takes responsibility of these athletes holistically and it can roll over. We have a rollover plan. If at the end of the season, you see that your athlete have, has done well and you want to roll over the, the support, you roll it over and continue. It's up to you. The, the adopt an athlete is um, a dream of um, the ministry at this point in time in conjunction with you. And um, when you talk about governors adopting athletes and all that, we hope that um, when they leave office, this goodwill will certainly continue. Mary Onyali Omagbebe, I must say a very big thank you for talking to us on the program Sports Desk on TVC. And um, to you and um, the Nigerian woman, take a bow. We're proud of the success story of Team Nigeria, most especially those who are breaking records. Toby has been awesome. 
and I'm sure Nigerians can't wait to indeed see Toby, especially in Ijebu Day. She's one name on the lips of everyone there. Congratulations and thank you for talking to us once again. Thank you. Nice being here.